Hey guys, welcome back to Gal Pal Nails. It's Jen. I am going to do a video on a dip ombre comparison. So that is Color Dip Caught Hot. And my lighter color is my Rebel Erica mixed with uh, a little bit of Quick Dip Cream Soda. I just was going to do a, uh, a French and I didn't end up using that color. So I'm going to do these two colors just at least so you can see a definite contrast between the two. I'm going to use a swatch stick today. Steph and I both have beautiful nails and we did not want to take them off to do a video yet. So we're just going to do swatches for this one. I'm going to use my Dip Delicious as always. That's my favorite base. I've used a few. I've used Care Sky. I've used the color Dip which was at Alta, and that became really stringy, and I didn't care for that one. I wouldn't use that one again. Cure Sky was good, a little on the thicker side, um, but still a good, definitely a good product. But Dipalicious is thin. It has produces some really thin coats, which is definitely helpful if you're an early new dipper um, and you kind of have control issues. Um, it's definitely worth it to get um, a, a dip base that's thin. So I'm going to apply my first coat. You can watch me struggle to dip it in my Erica mix. Did not get the greatest coverage there, but you know, just go with it. It's okay. And I will take my makeup brush and I do like kind of like a small makeup brush, an eyeshadow brush like this, um, as opposed to a thicker, fluffier brush. You definitely can't ombre with a fluffy brush. You have no product control, anything like that, especially with the tap on. Um, you have to have a makeup brush like this to do the tap and really to do the scrub. And the scrub's this one. And also a scrub, side note, you have to do the lighter color of your choice first and then scrub in the darker one. If you do the dark, it's very difficult to scrub in a light when it's already there. Kind of sounds like common sense, but still, I always like to say. So I'm going to scrub for a little bit here, and I noticed I scrubbed a whole bunch, and a lot more, and it kept going. And there's dip on my finger, of course. I hate that feeling of powder all over my fingers. I can't stand it. So I will use a nail brush to wipe off some of the excess. And that's my first coat. Pretty good coverage, I think going to do another coat, thick enough coat that I've got some dry time. Kind of paint that all over. This uh, base coat's almost gone. So I have to tip it just a bit. A little tip for your uh, bottles. I have heard that people have some trouble with um, the bottles going shut and things like that with some products. I always make sure I clean the uh, lip you know the top um, try not to get base on that too like on a regular nail polish lid how you kind of like wipe it off on the top the very top the rim don't do that with dip base um, kind of if you're wiping any excess do it on the inside of the of the rim um, and then I always wipe that clean and then I take like a little cheapy cuticle oil and rub it around the threads and twist my cap on till it's decently tight and then I reverse it a little bit like a half a turn or even a full turn just to make sure it is not completely turned on really tight because um, it will get stuck for sure so leave it you know unscrewed just a little bit not like so it's loose but just enough so you can still get it off um, that dip delicious bottle I've had for four months and I have not had any issues with it getting shut on me ever not one single time so just a little tip. Um, so I haven't really been paying attention, sorry. Um, as a little side note, the second um, coat I did think was um, enough coverage. Um, I thought it was pretty good with the scrub technique. Um, you'll see in the, the difference with the tap over. Um, I think I do three coats there. Uh, with this one, I did get pretty good coverage with just the two. 
so I'm pretty sure I stopped there. So I will let you watch for a couple minutes and come on back in just a few. Okay, so here is the next swatch that we are going to do the tap over method. So same procedure, this time instead of dipping completely in the Revel Erica and cream soda mix, we are going to grab an additional brush. This is a very fancy Crayola paintbrush um, from my son. Hard to find, can't find these anywhere, you know. Um, it was usually one that I just used to, to brush off excess powder with. Um, so I'll use that. The brushes are definitely too long and for sure was more difficult to get the the coverage. I like the makeup brush better. It gave me more control of where the powder went. And overall, I should have gotten, you know, two makeup brushes when I was at the Dollar General, but I didn't have to make a trip out during quarantine to Dollar General. Nurses get a 10% discount, so that's great. Um, so I will take my uh, pink and tap, tap, tap. A lot of tapping here. A lot of tapping. Um, I will definitely for fast forward some of it so you don't have to watch so much tapping. So you kind of mix the two colors together right in the middle to get your ombre effect. And with the tap over method, uh, once you've done your first coat, get some of the excess off there. Once you've done your first, when you do your second, you will switch the order of the powders when you apply them. So you will start with the pink first and then move to the the Rebel Mix. I will put another coat on here and start with the pink and you guys can watch for a few minutes. You can watch me tap, tap, tap and dust, dust, dust. Okay, so second coat is done here. I just don't think there's quite enough coverage on those two coats. Nope. Hand behind it. It's a definite no. I'm going to do one more coat on here to see maybe if I can get that pink to be a little bit darker. Maybe even have that that Rebel Mix be a little bit darker too. So, more tapping, lots more tapping, so much tapping. Keep watching.
Okay, so let's activate these. And that color looks really nice on that one so far. Definitely happy about that. Let's grab the other one, which is our scrub method. That one looks pretty good. I think I might like that one better. Mm, yeah, I did. I knew I would. So we'll give those a minute to dry. Of course, the activator takes, you know, at least a minute. Um, that is my old buffer I've definitely had for a while. Close up my, close up my base. Wipe the hands. I definitely have a little, a little dash of OCD in there for sure. Yep, yeah, it's dry. Use my smoothest side that I have on my buffer on these and not that you have to buff swatches because you don't but just to kind of buff out any imperfections or maybe maybe smooth out um, the ombre area just to kind of have it look how I want it to look I think it's worth worth a, you know a buff or two so we'll go ahead and do that and get to the scrub one and do that one also. I don't know, the way they're coming out with the comparison, I mean, are they both good methods? Yeah, I think they are. Um, I would say I prefer the scrub. It just looks a little bit better. The depth of color is better, the transitions better, but I think it's just personal preference. I think some people might like the one on the right. Maybe I just need a little more practice. Um, I did notice on my voiceover when I was outside, there are crickets in the background. And you might think, oh, it's a special effect. Wow, she's really talented. How did she get those crickets in there? No, I live in Florida and honestly, when I was recording, I didn't even hear the crickets. And now I can hear my clock ticking second by second. I'm wondering if you guys can hear that too. Um, back to the video. So that is a Sally Hansen gel top coat. Doesn't need any light. It's just a drugstore brand. That's what I used before I went to a UV non-white gel top coat. That's what I use now on my nails. Just the shine. It just can't compare. Um, there are, I've heard, a lot of good dip top coats. Um, I just I haven't tried out a lot of brands. I'm going to. I plan on it. Um, but I just got right into the gel because I felt like I had really seen some people have it and it was superior. So that's about it. I, I'm going to say the, uh, the scrub technique wins. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe, Stefan. I would love it. Thank you.